This is Alim from Javelin, and I would like to share with you some fantastic new functionality introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2017 for large assembly users. I would like you to imagine that this is a huge assembly, and I speed packed it, uh, and you can see, um, for example, the PCB board is actually not there, it's just a pretty picture of it. I'm going to try to add connectors to in all these locations, so let me insert and uh, and make them automatically so at this point i'm not doing anything it's just that the connectors will be added and by magic placed in their correct spot so you can see right now how they got in the in the right spot uh, and also the quantity should be correct based on how many places i need to add it and everything works while the whole thing is speed packed so notice only the uh, enclosure is being saved as a solid body everything else it's a pretty picture new functionality in 2017 let's see how this is being done i'm going to close this file and this is the file uh, that uh, our mechanical designer created imagine again this is a very complex one it takes me about 10 minutes to open and um, i'm an electrical engineer who wants to add those connectors but don't think only about electrical projects this can be extrapolated to anything in solidworks I took the time to, so uh, this mechanical um, assembly, it's, uh, it's fully loaded. Notice I can click on anything, I can open any of these components. And on a couple of them, especially on the connectors, I, uh, I took the time to add coordinate system. So let me open this one and you can see how there is a coordinate system here that has been actually named ConMate um, because I'm going to use it for a mate for connectors. And you can add other coordinate system name differently. So I have here clip mate um, and you can have many others. The first thing I'm going to try to do is to group all these coordinate systems into, into a selection uh, set. But remember, I don't want to change the model created by my uh, colleagues in the mechanical design. I'm going to create my own assembly. So I'm going to insert this into another assembly because I don't want to modify that assembly, right? So you see it's the only component of this assembly. Let me save this. I'm going to call it, well, assembly one. Makes sense. <laughs> and uh, let's show those coordinate systems, right? They're all over the place. Uh, some of them are actually having generic names. First thing I would like to be able to do is to select only the ones that have con mate in their name. And um, if I try to filter the tree, unfortunately SOLIDWORKS is not, or the SOLIDWORKS interface right now doesn't allow me to select only the coordinate system. Notice how it gives me also uh, the components that contain um, the, that coordinate system. And actually it doesn't do a very good job of hiding the other coordinate systems that are not named as this string. So I, it's, it's next to impossible to, to select them. I would have to manually go and select them one by one in order to uh, add them to um, add them to a selection set. And unfortunately, um, in a real world, there that can be hundreds or thousands of these coordinate systems. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to use a macro that improves this selection functionality to uh, no end. So I'm going to look for uh, features for entities in the feature tree that contain this string con mate. Can I hit select? Oh, actually, let's make sure that uh, I'm using the right casing. So con mate select. And notice how only the ones that I selected uh, that I typed that contain this string got selected. So right now I'm just going to say save selection. And you can see right here at the top level of the assembly, I have a selection set containing the coordinate system called conmate. Let me call this exactly that, conmate. Let's do another one for clipmate. So notice how nice uh, this uh, macro is. It keeps everything resident. I'm going to hit again, select. 
and actually it added a clip made to the, the previous selection. Let me click so somewhere else to deselect this. I'm going to hit select again and notice clip mates are selected. I'm going to save another selection and uh, let's call it clip mate. So all the coordinate systems that have this name have been added in, in this selection, the other ones in the other selection. This is where I would like to see the SOLIDWORKS uh, selection functionality to be um, expanded or to be enhanced to. Good. So doing all this work, now it's time to create a speed pack. So I'm going to go and add a speed pack. And this is where the new functionality in 2017 shines. It allows me to select maybe the enclosure, the solid body of the enclosure. And also as reference geometry, I'm going to pick up from the selection sets, all the coordinate system inside the cone mate. So take a look how, how great this is. It actually digs inside the sub-assembly, finds them, and it allows you to create the speed pack. And you can see the speed pack right now. If I move my mouse over here, none of the very complex geometry from the PCB or the other components is selected. It's just the coordinate system that got selected. So I'm going to save this assembly again. And let's insert it now into last assembly. I'm going to insert it into a third assembly, which I'm going to call it maybe the routing assembly. So let's save it. I'm going to call it routing. OK, so again, I'm using uh, the previous one in, in speed pack mode. And remember, I'm not really changing the mechanical assembly that's coming from, uh, from my uh, other team. The coordinate systems have been imported. So if I show you coordinate system, you can see only the cone mates are coming here. So the next thing I need to do is to insert the female component, actually is right here, the connector female, which has a mate reference that is looking for coordinate system. So notice the moment I, sell, I go over this one, it, it gets in the right location. So now it's just a matter of clicking one at a time and adding new females. But this is a time consuming process, especially if you have thousands and thousands of connectors that need to be added. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to run another macro that's going to insert this connector. It's going to count how many conmate uh, coordinate systems are, and it's going to insert the, uh, that connector the same amount of time as, uh, as that. So let's try again, insert mates, connector female, and you can see I'm not doing anything. It's SOLIDWORKS who is adding the, the females in the right location. So at this point, if I press Alt-S, the go circle goes away, and I'm ready to start building my, my routing based on the coordinate systems that I have here that are coming with the C points. Uh, sorry, based on the connectors that I have here, they're coming with the C points and, and everything else. So. Uh, one more time, I was talking about the new functionality in speed packs that allows the capture of reference geometry like coordinate systems. Thank you very much.